Hey guys, Ivan here, and today I have something very interesting for you. This is a topic that many people speculate about. Who is the greatest of all time? Who is the best bodybuilder that ever walked the planet Earth? The first bodybuilder that comes to mind to most bodybuilding fans is Ronnie Coleman. But who can challenge him? The question is, who do people like to compare Ronnie to? Who do they consider to be the greatest of all time aside from Ronnie? Some people like to say it's Arnold. Of course it's not Arnold. Arnold is a monster, a freak, a supreme human being for his era. But his era was much weaker than the era of the 90s and early 2000s when Ronnie was the king. People tend to compare him to another Mr. Olympia, that being Dorian Yates. Even though I'm a huge fan of Dorian, I would prefer to look like Dorian over all of these other bodybuilders. I do not consider him the greatest of all time. Ronnie ushered a new era of bodybuilding. Dorian took it to another level from the 80s and the 70s, but then in the late 90s and early 2000s, Ronnie brought something new. Ronnie brought another level of mass and conditioning. Some people may even say it's Jay Cutler, some may even say it's like Flex Wheeler, some would say Lee Haney or whatever, but I don't think that's really being realistic and objective. I think, and this is not just my opinion, I think this is the most rational attitude, the best bodybuilder near Ronnie Coleman, the only one that could challenge him, actually, would be Phil Heath that is 100% on. The Sandals, man, they speak for themselves. Ronnie had 8, yeah, Lee Haney also had 8, but during the 80s. But since the era of the monster started, who came close to Ronnie? The only guy who did that is Phil Heath, obviously. Okay, yeah, Ronnie's competition was much better. It was Flex Wheeler, it was Kevin Leveroni, it was Jay Cutler. So that is much more competitive compared to Sean Roden or Dennis Wolf or Big Ramy, Dexter Jackson. Kai Green, Kai Green was really good competition and he really challenged Phil Heath. And actually, I think he is the reason why Phil was so good during the early 2010s. But anyways, in my opinion... The best two bodybuilders in the history of the world are Phil Heath and Ronnie Coleman. And now, let's compare them. And I'm sure you guys already saw a bunch of videos of these two bodybuilders being compared, so I'm not gonna do just that. I'm gonna try to be more creative, and I'm gonna show you something a little bit different. So, in my previous video about Ronnie Coleman, one of my viewers said that I should use this photo right here and try to make a good comparison, comparing Phil hit against Ronnie, but trying to find the perfect ratio between these two bodybuilders using Dexter Jackson right here. So Dexter competed against Ronnie and against Phil when they were at their best. Oof, I'm not sure from which year this photo is, you can tell me if you are sure, but I would say this is 1999 or maybe even 1998. I'd rather say 1999, I'm not sure if Dexter even competed in 1998, but Ronnie looks fresh. He looks young, he looks very, very conditioned. He's not bloated at all, his stomach looks in check, his waist is even small compared to his huge shoulders, chest and quads. Even his calves are huge and symmetrical. So I'd say this is the best version of Ronnie Coleman ever, and I'd say this is 1999, or 1998, or 2000. But I would say 1999, it looks the most like that one to me. And I think this is Ronnie's best. I don't think he ever looked better than this. And now we're gonna use Phil Heath from 2011, which is, by the opinion of many, his best year up to date. And this right here is Phil's best year, 2011. And I know this is a very poor quality photo, but bear with me. And I'm not gonna compare this one exactly. This is just for size. So here you can see him and you can see Dexter. So you can compare these two guys and you can see the difference in their height and in their size, pretty much. Now, we will use this photo to compare Ronnie against Phil regarding size. So, I did a little Photoshop and it looks like this. Alright, so I merged those two photos and now you can compare them. You can see how Phil looks like compared to Dexter Jackson standing right next to him and how Ronnie looks like standing next to Dexter. So this is Dexter from 2011 on the right and on the left this is probably Dexter from 1999. It's about a 10 years difference, but you know, Dexter doesn't really age. I think this is the same size pretty much. Maybe he's a little bit bigger later in 2011, 
but it wasn't his best shape ever. I think it's quite similar. You agree? So here you can see, you can see how much Ronnie is actually bigger. Not only bigger, but the details in the quads, for example. That's only one thing. And yeah, the quality of this photo is horrible. So let's go with another one, a better one. Another photo of 2011 Mr. Olympia. On the left, you can also see Tony, the X-Men Freeman. But on the right, you can see Phil compared to Dexter. Dexter is a bit closer to the camera, so he may seem a little bit bigger. But you can pretty much get the idea. You can pretty much see that Phil wasn't exactly dwarfing Dexter. Let's be realistic here. Phil is pretty much the same size. He's a bit bigger, he has bigger arms, fuller chest. He is overall bigger, fuller, rounder, which are also the traits of Dexter, but Phil is a little bit better at it. And as far as conditioning, they're pretty much close, but I guess Phil is a little bit sharper. Anyways, you can see the difference, basically. You can see that they're very close. It's not a huge difference. Yeah, Phil destroyed him in this competition. Dexter took, I think, sixth, and Phil was first. That's true. But he's not absolutely annihilating him, just like Ronnie is doing. Ron is absolutely destroying Dexter. And stay with me, stay with me. The next thing will shine the light on this comparison. And you will see it pretty much clearly. And there you go. This is Ronnie Coleman at his best, probably. And also Phil hit at his probably best. By the opinion of many people, 2011 version is his best ever. And that's also what I think. So here, you can compare them. You can see a huge difference. So I'm not gonna do a full comparison. I'm not gonna compare their backs and other poses. We can do that another time. Maybe I'll make a complete video. But I'm gonna just compare these two because I think this is the most realistic comparison that you will ever see. The shadow is pretty much the same. The lighting, I mean. And then the size comparison. I think this is pretty close. I think this is the closest that we're gonna get. So let's go bottom up. Cal's very close, and I'd say Phil has better calves, but the judges don't give a shit about calves, guys. I mean, some people are commenting on some videos, that guy is great, he would win the Mr. Olympia if he had calves. Judges don't care about that at all, trust me. Then let's go with the quads, something that really does matter. And here you can see a big difference. Um, the details in Ronnie's legs are better. His outer sweep is bigger. Phil's inner part of the legs, the inner thighs, the abductors, are looking more massive, but that's not something to be proud of. Um, big inner thighs are something that pretty much anybody can get, but big outer sweep, outer portion of the quads, it's something to be impressed with. So, I give legs to Ronnie, for sure. Stomach, both these guys have a mess of a stomach, only a four-pack, a big difference between very similar stomachs, but Phil's obliques are bigger, Ronnie's obliques are smaller, which makes his waist look smaller also. And another thing, very important one, Ronnie's super huge, freaky, round and big shoulders make his physique look much more impressive, and especially in the waist area. His waist looks much smaller because of that. Phil is kind of doing the same thing with his round, bolder shoulders and with his triceps, pretty much with his arms, uh, but it's not enough, it's not enough. Ronnie is not twisting his arms as much as Phil is. He is just standing there with his chin up, with his chest up. He has really good posture here, while Phil is twisting forward and bending a little bit, which does not look perfect. It does not look proper. It looks a little bit odd. And then you can look at chest. You can see that the Ronnie's chest is much wider, much wider, much bigger. Um, as far as their arms, they're both having an amazing set of arms. Ronnie he had arms pretty much too big, so he didn't want to train them too much. The same thing is with Phil. Yeah, Phil has a bit better arms, but who cares? You can easily ignore them if you take a look at those shoulders of Ronnie. They are so huge. The silhouette is amazing. The details all over his physique are phenomenal. Phenomenal. So, I think Ronnie is the greatest of all time. Phil is not better. It would be a great battle. It would be an amazing battle. It would be one of the best battles that bodybuilding has ever seen. I would give my kidney to watch that. And unfortunately, it's not possible. We're never gonna see that. 
This is probably the best that we can see so far. Hopefully, in the future, they will make some kind of virtual pose downs for the best bodybuilders. I don't know if you're going to be alive for that, but it's possible. Technology is advancing very, very fast. So, looking forward to that. Anyways, this is it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like it. Don't forget to do that. And if you want to see more content like this, I'm going to provide you with a lot of interesting topics. I'm going to bury you with a lot of great content. You're going to see different things. I'm going to try to be different from other bodybuilding YouTube channels. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. This is going to be huge. So be a part of it. Be a part of my channel. And don't forget to subscribe. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.